Okay, I'm ready. Hey guys, so I just finished my shift. Um, I was at the office that gives 45 minutes. That was, you know, it t that tires me out because it's just like you literally have like, well, today I, you know, I was quick. So I went in early, 20 minutes early, and I just like, you know, set up for the day just so I'm sure. Like, what I did was I got these headrest covers. I got my headrest covers and I put like, you know, everything that I'm gonna need for each appointment filled it up and like put it on the drawer up there so I could move quickly when I'm like you know cleaning and putting my things together um, and I'm setting up for the new patient um, just so it could be an easier faster process and I made sure I had like all my instruments that I needed so yeah I went in 20 minutes early just to get that done so that they could go by smoothly so the first patient started working on them and you know I was I was on top of it like I was working really quickly um, so I got I finished with the profi for in like 30 minutes. So I had like 15 more minutes. So I'm waiting on the doctor. Um, it was a different doctor. The doctor I worked with um, on Wednesday was the owner, but the doctor I worked with today was like an associate or something. And um, I, I never met him before, so I don't I don't really know how he works. Um, and then, I, mind you, there was 15 minutes. <laughs> like I had 15 more minutes. I, I finished at like 9 30 and I went to go get the doctor um, so I, I went to go check on the doctor after like 10 minutes or so he's still working on the person and then after like 20 minutes I'm running behind that's when they come and tell me that the doctor can't do the exam and I'm just like okay so now now I'm running behind like I was done early and now I'm running behind because you guys didn't communicate that with me I was like okay cool the next patient you know I try to hurry up and you know be be fast and I'm so tired sorry you guys um, okay so for the next patient the second patient of the day um, really great home care I was done really quickly and yeah it wasn't so bad so I I, I was right back on time again and then um, the third patient needed more home care instructions and I don't like to skip out like if I see that they need it I'm I, I'm gonna take the time even though the next I'm gonna be late for the next patient because like truly we, we, we absolutely need an hour per patient because like it's just I'm not gonna let the patient go home if I see that they really need um, or hygiene instruction because if I was in that chair I would have wanted to know so and also I'm not their gums were really puffy and stuff so I was trying to be careful like it's just it takes time like I'm th the 40 minute 45 minute thing is it's not for me and they had the audacity to ask me to come back like come back where like I'm tired like my whole body aches like my hands were hurting it's just like the pressure of just trying to finish somebody extremely early like no like the person needs care like everyone needs I'm, I'm yeah I'm not going back to this to that office like they had the audacity to ask me to come back you guys so and I was trying to say no but they didn't get it so I just told them sure I can help here and there I'm gonna I'll, I'll text them but I'm I'm not texting y'all like you guys like no like and they were talking to me as if I was really gonna come back like I'm like I'm not sure and do it like it's like they were trying to get me to really come like here's, here's another thing right I offered I told them I know people that will possibly come and help y'all you know and then and then she, and they were like well there was two people like i am so tired so when i walked in this morning right the hygienist who's usually like thin offish in the past i've seen her i met her before she's usually thin offish right and then today she was being really sweet i'm like oh well, maybe she just hmm, had to change of heart and she's sweet now and then i was just like you know it was in the back of my head, like because like I noticed people's um, demeanors. Like I, I mean, it's not my place to say anything. Like, I don't really mind, but I remember how she is, how, how she acted before. Um, not that I tried to, but it's just like I'm very. I don't know. It just I remember. Um, so yeah, I remember she was like really standoffish, and then all of a sudden she comes into my room. She's like, I really need, I need like a month off, and I need you to cover for me. I'm like, hold on. Um, no, I'm sorry. Um, let me check my schedule. I'll let you know. I'll text you. 
because I like as soon as I say no, they they look at me like I'm crazy. Like I just because you're a temp doesn't mean you want to come in and help on all, all, like especially the office. Like their instrument is on point, but the whole 45 minute thing like it's not like it's not enough time. Like I I can't. No. No, no, no. I just no, no, no. no. Here's the thing, right? I offered them, I told them I know people that can come and help you guys. And then she told me the doctor wants me. Like, no, you guys can be picky. Like, what the hell? Y'all can't be picky and like demanding at the same time. Like, what the hell? Like, you need help. Like, beggars aren't. I don't want to be mean, but like, you need help. Like, I'll try to get you somebody else, but not me. Like, you can't demand my time just because I'm a temp and I don't, like, I don't have to. I don't know I don't want to rent or I'm just I'm too tired to rent but yeah this is how today went I'm not going back I don't know why they think just because they want my help and my and I'm like she she kept on asking me if I'm just temping and I was just like I'm temping like here I just felt like she was gonna try to get me trapped like earlier like in the morning like early in the morning like on I got there at 8.30 because I wanted to like um, set up and stuff. She came up to me. She was like, yeah, are you just stamping right now? Even if I'm just stamping right now, it doesn't mean I want to come back to that particular office. Like, I don't like when people try to like push themselves on you and try to like force you to do something that you obviously don't want to do. Like, you're, I'm obviously not interested. If I was interested, I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll do this, I'll do that. I'm telling you, I, have, I know other people that want to do it. Like, I know other people, like, there's, I was trying to tell her there's a Facebook group that we just usually post um people um we just usually like post um gigs and stuff and then people who want to do it go and do it but apparently they're trying to like pick and choose who, who they want like i don't want to go back there if i can help you find somebody else i'll be glad to do it to, to, to do so i can like put it online for you you can't just try to get me to come there just because the patients no i'm sorry i'm just tired like i'm not going back and I'm just uh -uh. <sighs> my back like I'm just I'm never like this like if I have an hour per patient everything's cool so you mean to tell me she had to do that seat to ask me to cover for her for a month I'm like I don't even want to be here for one day you think I'm gonna come back for a whole month 